Hi, this is Johnny from the Account Support Team here at Skiddle. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the rep system on Skiddle. Just a general overview on getting it set up so that people can start repping for your event, getting your commissions and your rewards set up and all that good stuff. So first of all, you're going to want to get logged into the Promotion Center. Scroll down and click on the event that you want to set reps up for. I'm just going to use this little test event that I uh, created earlier. Click on Promotion on the left hand side and then Manage Reps. Now this is the overview page, from here you'll be able to see well, pretty much everything that's going on with your event in terms of reps. As you can see, I've currently got nothing set up on this, I'm going straight from scratch. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is get reps turned on. Now as you can see here, it's currently set to off. By clicking change, this is where we see the options. Now, this uh, they're pretty self-explanatory, but I will just go through them one by one. First of all, we have the on auto approval option. By selecting this, that basically means anybody can start repping for your event. You don't need to um, approve or disapprove whoever you, you know, people that are applying to uh, rep for your event. They'll be able to locate your event via the Skiddle app and just start sharing the link and uh, earning themselves some commission. If you set it to manual approval, you will just see here just at the top, I will go into this in a bit more detail, it says pending reps. If you do it on manual approval and someone applies to be a rep, they won't start repping for your event straight away. They'll appear in that pending rep section and then it's up to you to decide whether they can be a rep or not. This would, of course, be most useful if you're doing sort of like a street team type thing. You've got specific people that you want repping for your event. You don't just want it to be a free for all. And then this option on no new reps. So that would basically be, let's say, for example, you've been using this manual approval option and there's a group of people that you want to be repping for your event but you don't want anybody else after that you can leave the system still running but with no new applications and no new people repping for your event so the existing reps can continue but no new ones will be approved and then simply you've got off which obviously is set to by default for most reps situations i would uh, recommend auto approval however obviously if you want to be a bit more in control of it then manual approval will probably be your best option we're going to leave it on auto approval for now so there you go, that red banner's disappeared and as you can see we're straight in on auto approval. Now we'll just cover these uh, few pages here, although as you'll see there's nothing currently within here. As I say, if you've got it on manual approval, this is where you'll find them in here. And under this actions heading here, that's where you'll either be able to approve or uh, disallow them from being a rep. Heading on into the active rep section, again, pretty self-explanatory. You'll see all this information along here and it will be ranked to show who is currently your top reps. You'll see their name, you'll see when they signed up as a rep, how many page views they've had through the links they've been sharing, um, how many purchases have been made through the uh, through the link, what commission they've earned and, uh, and all that good stuff. You can also search on here if you've got many different reps uh, going and you can also export this information as a CSV for use outside of the promotion center. Uh, and you can also decide whether you're ranked from the top or from the bottom. Moving on to commission, this is one of the big parts of the system. This is where obviously you're setting how much people earn uh, on specific ticket types. Now you can set a default commission that will just run across your entire, uh, across all the different ticket types that you've got on the event. So for example, we could set this at 10%. Now that will be applied to any that you set to fix. So as you can see there, that's gone to 50 pence. Now I'm not gonna do a default commission. I'm going to turn it on to fixed and then through doing this you can set how much you want people to earn from each ticket type. So for this early bird one, it's a £5 ticket, I'm going to say that they can earn 50 pence on that, so I guess in that case that is 10%. This one's £10, I'm going to say they can earn £2 for each sale they get on that one. This £25 ticket, that's quite a, quite a good one, let's set that at £5. And then this early entry, let's say that we set this at one fifty. Of course, this is entirely flexible. It's entirely up to you what you set this at. You might prefer to do the default commission amount. However, by doing it this way, you have total flexibility of uh, what people can earn on these. You might not even want it on for all ticket types. For example, that early entry might decide, actually, you know what? We'll keep that as, um, as no commission set on that one. Uh, it's just on these three that if they sell them, they're going to earn that amount. And again, you'll be able to keep a track in the active reps how much people have earned through their rep links. Heading into logs, this is like a pretty much, a, as it says on the tin, it's a log of all the different rep activity that goes on. You'll be able to see when people have been sharing the links, how many sales have tracked through, uh, which rep the sale has gone through on. Moving on, we've got the manage rewards screen. Now, just heading back into the commission a second, you will see that there's a points value underneath the uh, ticket types. Now, as you can see, that's 50 points for the £5 ticket, 100 points for the £10 ticket, and so on. That's 10 points per £1 of sales that they make. 
So within the manage rewards, let's get a reward set up. Now these can basically be anything that you want them to be. So this is this is where the rep system really becomes customizable. You can basically run this however you want. So let me just show you what I mean by that. If we go into here and say, for example, we're gonna give people a free drink upon entry. You can then uh, set a description of this. So free beer at the event. I mean, obviously you could be a bit, little bit more creative than that. So yes, as I said, 10 points is the equivalent of one pound worth of sales. So let's say for example, if someone sells three of those early bird tickets, that's gonna be 150 points. So if somebody gets equivalent of 15 pound of sales, so that could be one of the standard release and one of the early entry, then they would receive one of these free drink upon entry uh, rewards and the way that will work is they will basically be sent a barcode just like a ticket purchase that will come into their skittle app and that's something that they can you can then scan using the rapid scan app at your event they'll be able to then redeem that reward and get their free drink again you can use it in any way that you uh you see fit it might be that you want to give them a t-shirt or bar tokens or anything like that it's entirely up to you we can also specify how many of these will be available with so it's again it's it's very flexible let's say that we want this for 20 people and there you go that's now set up tells you how many points are required how many of these we've got available currently none of them have been claimed and if you go into the reward progress section within here it will show you all the reps that are working towards unlocking that reward so you'll be able to see it will show you their rep sales and how much how close they are to unlocking that reward and if there's multiple different rewards that they're working on you'll be able to see that too so the manager reward screen is very flexible as opposed to just using the uh, commission values. That's essentially it for the rep system. As I say, once somebody has got themselves signed up, they can just start sharing their link and earning themselves their commissions. If they need any further assistance with this, they can head to skiddle.com forward slash reps where they'll see their own reps dashboard, which will include how much they've currently earned, which events they're repping for, and the links that they need to share out in order to get those sales registered. So that's it for an overview of the rep system. As I say, it's quite a flexible tool. You can use this how you see fit, whether that is with commissions or rewards. Just uh, get in there and see what works for you and your events. For your customers, once they've got signed up and they are using the system, if they head to skittle.com forward slash reps, They'll be able to see their own personal dashboard, their own overview of how much they've earned, which events they're repping for, and be able to grab their links to be able to share them out and start earning their commission. And for any further assistance with using the Promotion Center, do check out our other how-to videos or head to help.promotioncenter.co.uk where we've got a massive library of FAQs to help you use the site. Thanks a lot for watching.